Happy day 22. Hi. Yeah. We are a couple of minutes early, which is just the way Jana likes it. And it's love to be early. Pretty rare for me, <laughs> not gonna lie. So um so proud of her. Oh. Don't hit yourself. Um I'm gonna move this. We'll just wait just a couple seconds. We do have some things that we want to um, discuss with everyone that's been doing the challenge and give you guys some tips on um, really kind of where to go from here and give everyone an opportunity to ask any questions that you might have and um, just kind of have a little a little chat. I've been watching the show. This looks crooked to me. I've been watching a show that has um, a lot of people from the UK on it, so. I'm practicing my English accent. So if she just randomly goes into it, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, right. Now I find myself like thinking in my head in an English accent, and I, I quite like it. <laughs> That's uh, quite a skill. <laughs> well, you know, it's binge watching, so it'll get you every time. I know. I feel like we're oh off. Oh, She's hi. a little shorter than I am. <laughs> um, Come back. Okay, so. This probably won't take very long. Hi. Uh, um, so what we wanna do is give you guys the opportunity, we can see comments come up and um, give you guys the opportunity to ask us really anything that you wanna ask. It could be about um, the workouts or nutrition or the challenge or um, us. I actually had someone message me and ask if we filmed all the workouts in one day. We kinda wanted you guys to wonder about that. Uh, I made sure everyone wore the same outfit whenever we came to film and fixed our hair the same. But um, no, we actually filmed them all in two days. <laughs> Not one, yeah. but two. Yeah, so it was, a, you know, long, long days of filming. I think our second filming day was like nine hours. Mm -hmm. Nine hours, but we love each other so much, so we had a great time, and we were exhausted, but it was well worth it. We're gonna talk so much about that. She says, how do you get motivated? Um, it's funny that you say that because, do you have your own studio? All these awesome questions. Yes, we do have our own studio. Um, on our YouTube channel, there's actually a tour of the studio and it'll show like all the spaces. That's where we are now. Yep. And um, we're kind of in the lobby. I'll just like lift this up just for, we have some retail, there's, there's Jana's weights and some different things. There's the other side. There's the lobby of the studio and then our workout rooms are in there. There's all of our little, little good job plaques, our awards um, that we've gotten from our local community, which is really exciting. So is it noon yet? Yes, 12.01. Okay. okay, we wanted to just start a little early, give people a chance to hop on. Um, as you're coming on, ask questions and we will get to them, um, as many of them as we can. So this challenge was all about making and breaking habits. So making new habits that are good for you and, make, and breaking bad ones um, that are not so good for you and your progress in the direction that you wanna go. So um, here at the studio, we actually had a book club where we read a book about making um, really good habits and, and breaking the bad ones called Atomic Habits by James Cleary. It's a great book. So good. It's so, so, so good. We all enjoyed it very much. And um, we're gonna share with you some of the main points that really stuck out to us on how to get motivated, how to stay motivated, how to keep, you know, keep yourself going. Hello when you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. Um, first of all, what I would like to say is at the studio, we all have one thing in common and especially the instructors and most of us feel very passionate about our purpose. And the thing that we have in common, I would say is that we love working out if it's fun. So, I mean, you know, some people just love exercise and we do, we love the feeling, the endorphins and, uh, and the dopamine that you get from that. But we also work really hard to make it very fun for ourselves as well as you. We all love music. We have a passion for that. But more than anything, we have a passion for the girls that do our workouts. Um, connectivity issues. Oh, okay. 
Oh, hi. Yeah, it's a little tricky with that. Um, thank oh, you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> um, so all these sweet little comments coming in. That's what you guys stay focused on these videos. It's like, <laughs> don't don't do the thing, Jamie. The thing, you know. Um, squirrel. Yeah, squirrel for sure. But um, so we make working out as fun as possible. We give the biggest amount of variety to our viewers, subscribers, and the girls in the studio that we can't, you know what, Jana? maybe if you pulled up on your phone, mm -hmm. the video, then you could read the comments because they're sure. coming up and then disappearing before I like Absolutely. have a chance to read them all. So I'm gonna have Jana go do that. Um, so getting into kind of like the meat of it, um, we realized that exercise is something that people struggle with a lot best lunch date ever oh michelle hi oh michelle is one of our instructors here um she was in the workout videos with us um she's in a lot of our videos actually michelle. yeah we love her she's like one of my very 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 dear friends i love her to death um but what we're going to talk about really is where to go from here. You've done the 21 day challenge. I am curious to know, give us a like on this video. If you did at least, I want to say like at least half of the challenge videos or more. Some of you guys I know uh, really like committed to it and stuck with it all 21 days and did every single video. I know there are some days that um, most of the people that like signed up for the challenge and were really committed did not want to do the videos. I know that because, um, yay, yay. good job. Not everybody wants to do yoga and stretching. So we understand However, that. However, they're so incredibly important. Like they, they are just as important as movement in general because it helps make sure that you strength or like you elongate your muscles and that you come back ready and stronger and ready to put forth the effort in the next day. Right. So what I would like to tell you guys about that is that you can strengthen your muscles, but if you don't stretch them and lengthen them, it's gonna lead to injury every single time because if you just science, um, kinesiology, I think is the one that I'm looking for. Kinesiology sh like says that if you have a muscle that's really strong, when you strengthen your muscle, it becomes tighter. And if you don't stretch it, it's gonna pull on other muscles and create low back problems and those things. And the, in the flip side of that, if you stretch your muscles and you don't strengthen them, they're going to be all loosey goosey and cause the same problem. So you have to strengthen and stretch. Um, and that's why we have everything here at the studio is well rounded. If you are, um, a, just a YouTube subscriber and you don't know anything about our online subscription or what we do here at the studio, what we want you to know is that the, what we put out to YouTube is what seems to be the most popular to our YouTube subscribers and viewers, which is a lot of our dance videos. Um, those are like so near and dear to my heart. It's where I started. It's what I love to do. However, it is a f like a yeah. eighth. Uh, yeah, yeah. An eighth of what we yeah. actually offer on our online platform and right here in the studio. So we definitely are big, huge believers in well-rounded fitness, which is the upper body and lower body strengthening, the yoga um, that creates all the core strength, the having fun, the flexibility of the deep stretch, the, the cardio of the dance and the release of all those endorphins to make you feel stronger. We have um, classes that use motivational speaking and we have classes that are, you know, more typical yoga and, and hip hop yoga. We have classes that are hit classes where you're gonna get, uh-oh, where you're gonna get all of it, a little bit of, you know, cardio and strengthening and all of those things. And even bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We've got so many different things. And the cool thing is, is if you get online and you, you have a seven day free trial to try out the online they thing. Get 14. 14 days. I lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, also, the community is absolutely incredible. And we're gonna talk about how environment is so important. 
the environment that the online addicts give is absolutely incredible. And they even get on there on days whenever they're just having a crap day and they're like, hey, I'm having a really rough day. And then you have all of those people next to you to say, hey, we're right here with you and encourage you and to, to continue you forward. And I mean, the amount of hours that there are. So if you wanna do like a 20 minute workout, do a 20 minute workout. If you wanna do, you're like, okay, today I'm gonna go a little bit stronger. You wanna do 30, there's all different types of things and it's absolutely incredible. Um, I would say the biggest benefit, and we're not trying to sell you a subscription. We're going to get into the, we got, look at our little post-it notes of the things we want to talk about, but we do want, it does lead into that. So we want to let you know that, um, when we, the, the value that's provided by our online subscription is not just the tons and tons and tons of workout videos that we have, but it is more than anything, our online community, um, we have a Facebook group that if you have an online subscription, you um, get to be a part of. And I mean, we do live videos in there from the instructors. We do challenges in there as well. But more than that, it's literally just like a girl gang. Mm -hmm. It is all women. Um, so if that's something that, you know, you would really love the support of just women literally just freaking cheering for each other, rooting each other on saying, I'm having a bad day and other girls going, it's okay to have a bad day here and there. Like literally I saw, it was so amazing. Someone say, I'm having a bad day. Someone commented, you want to work out together? They are like, okay, ready? Let's press play. And they're like chatting as they're working out. And it's amazing um, because the truth is you can't create habits and keep habits on your own. Um, I actually have this written down. One of the things in the book says that you imitate the um the actions and the behavior of the close the many and the powerful and so the the people that are closest to you you have to have that support group we have a lot of women that come in here and um, when we really get to know them we are realizing and recognizing that they're not really getting the support that they need at home now most of them are but there are a handful that it's you know we our heart goes out to them because you know maybe their partner isn't ready to make that same lifestyle change that they want for themselves. And, and we tend to kind of, you know, imitate the habits of the close because we're afraid that if we grow, then maybe that means we're going to grow apart from someone that we love or a friend um, or family. I know we hear a lot that family and friends say, um, Oh, you know, you're working out too much. Are you okay? Or, you've lost too much weight and you're getting so thin and Jana and I look at them I'm like you look healthy and happy and you are glowing and people can be afraid of that they can be um, fearful seeing someone that's close to them make changes in their life because they think that maybe that means they're going to lose them so you know my advice is always to have that real honest conversation with um, your friends and family and your partner especially like this is a change in my life that I it's really really important to me because I feel so much better this is bringing so much more joy to my life my stress level is down this is time that I can take for myself I haven't felt this kind of joy in a really long time this is my form of self-care these are all things that you can say to your partner um, or your family and friends because a lot of times because of society and the way things are presented we are made to believe that the only reason that someone would work out is because they want to change the way they look and that's just simply not the case especially now after everything that everyone's been through in the last two years I think we know that our health and our happiness are the two most important things in life um, and those that are close to us and their health and happiness too. So maybe you can be, you know, a bit of a good influence um, to someone that might be afraid to make those changes for themselves. And the other cool thing is, is we've actually seen a lot of the online subscribers. They'll actually invite their boyfriends, husbands, girlfriends, moms, you name it, cousins to come and join with them and they have just as much fun. And usually they're saying, oh dear God, this is like incredible or oh my gosh, you work so hard. And then they're able to see exactly what you all are putting into it. And there's something so beautiful about being able to see the person that you love, see what you've been doing, you know, and just having that extra connection and, and being able to grow with it. Absolutely. So, um, 
Oh, we are located in Springfield, Missouri. People are really surprised to hear that. Uh, a lot of people think that we're like in, you know, New York or LA. We're just like little old 417 area code, <laughs> Springfield, Springfield, Missouri, um, which is a little bit close to Branson, which apparently is pretty well known. <laughs> we're two hours south of Kansas City. That's, you know. And about 30 minutes north of Branson. Um, so the close, the many, and the powerful. So we just talked about the close, and then you imitate the many, which is, you know, finding a like minded group of people to talk to and, um, and share in your journey. So have the discussion with the people that are close to you about the journey that you want to go and the habits that you want to create. Find a, um, what did Jamie call it yesterday? A tribe, I think is what mm -hmm. she kept saying. Yeah, it's she like talk about the tribe. A tribe, which is a, like a trending word, and I don't like to use trending vocabulary because it seems less um, authentic because it seems like, oh, I'm just saying it because it's a cool word to say, but it really is, you know, we protect each other, we motivate each other, we encourage each other, we help each other um, come out of something that's negative, even if someone is not there yet and they're kind of, you know, being a little bit negative themselves about other things, we don't judge that and, and we try and help people grow from our positivity. It's like, you know, a domino effect. So we would love to be that, that group of many for you, that tribe that helps you continue on your journey of health and happiness um, because it is, it's really about how you spend your life and what you want to do with it and how you want to feel each day that you're here. So um, the powerful. So we, all, uh, we tend to, you know, try and imitate people that we look up to. So make sure that you find um, people in your life that you can look up to that are doing the things that, that you would like to see yourself do as well. Um, I said at the beginning of this journey, for me, creating habits. Jana has a lot of really, really healthy habits that I wanted to... Um, kind of imitate you know for she journals a lot and she takes time to really think about what's important to her and she makes sure nothing can you know influence that and get in the way of that and I've recognized and realized this month it's January 31st you know that um I took that as a guide and I kind of made it my own at my house like things that worked for me things that didn't but I did look up to Jana for a lot of that um that discipline that you know that she has Thanks. yeah for sure. So that's, you know, you just find someone and, um, and on the flip side of that, I don't like, I'm, I'm not big into cancel culture. I'll just tell you, it's just not my thing. Um, but I do think that if you're following people on social media that are not making you feel your best, not that it's their fault at all, but maybe you're just not there where you can follow someone and not think, Oh man, I wish I looked like her or, you know, I wish I had that thing. Like jealousy and envy are not good things to feel. So maybe, you know, unfollow that and follow some accounts that make you feel good until you're ready to to go back to that space. Um, I have to do that myself. I have to keep myself in check. Like, and it has nothing to do with the person that I'm unfollowing or choosing not to um, search for their name to see what they've posted because, you know, comparison is the thief of joy and it's, it's kind of eye-opening sometimes when you're following someone that's doing the things that you want to do, how it allows you to make, or allows you to feel worse about yourself and that's not good. Um, so you just kind of be honest with yourself and you're like, okay, I'm not there yet. It's, it's a little bit eye-opening. So the close, the, the many, and the powerful, so choose wisely on that because mm -hmm. you will imitate the habits of those people. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about this and then I'll... Yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. Um, so another awesome point in the book that they discuss is not exactly how many days it takes to make a habit, but how many times you actually do the thing that you want to build to become your habit. So for instance, in this journey, it was 22 days or 21 days of workouts every single day, hopping on to create that habit. So every single time you push play, that is a checkbox in 
the box of who you want to become the the person you want to be if it's if it's spending the time for yourself if it's making you feel better if it's the positivity all those things which is comes from working out um the strength all of it that every single time you push play it's a check mark to be that person who you want to be and the really cool thing is they actually discuss in the book how every time you make a choice to do that new habit you're actually creating creating pathways in your brain to help you make that be a habit and so just think about it from there's two different ways from the scientific way where the science behind it and then also just wanting to find or to become the identity of who you're wanting to think about what you want for yourself have it be the identity that you want to be and take those steps and directions into becoming that so every time you do it check mark into who you want to be and if it's not perfect you know what none of us are and that's okay it's like just every choice that you make try to make it be the one that is for who you want to be and if it's not guess what the next choice just make it be where on the path of where you want to go so i don't know i was kind of reading this but this claire i don't know if you're still watching but it says um, I haven't been able to do the challenge every day in a row, but I kept trying and going on regardless a couple of a couple days skips. That's exactly what Jana yep. was talking about. Um, in the book, it says you don't need a unanimous vote mm -hmm. to become the person you want to be. You just need the majority vote. Mm -hmm. So, you know, did you talk about that a little mm -hmm. bit? No. Oh, okay. That's perfect though. Cause yeah. yeah, you don't need the unanimous vote. Think about that in life. If it, you know, elections and everything else you don't need the unanimous vote you just need the majority to get the result that you're looking for so good for you for continuing on Absolutely. a lot of times we break habits that are good that we want to keep because um you know we miss one day and then we go mm -hmm. well i didn't do it just like in all the videos we talked about one day at a time one step at a time one breath at a time one more rep uh, we talk about that all the time here mm -hmm. at the studio. One more. If you just tell yourself over and over, one more time, one more time, one more time, you will get stronger. It's inevitable. It's literally scientifically, physically impossible to regress if you are continuing to do it one more time. And that doesn't mean you have to do it every single day. It just means that you need to be, um, you know, consistently doing it more often than not. Um, even in the book it also discusses where it's not the first day that you skip it's usually the day after whenever you're like if you let's say you forget or you don't work out you don't have time whatever the case be or you just don't feel like it it's the second day that then is putting you in the direction of not continuing it's like that first time it's okay but then the next day just get back on track and then that's okay and that's so Part one of, of the life. one of the first questions was how do you get motivated and that's kind of what she was talking about with it's okay um, get back on track um, and we have like some really solid tips that have helped us they are all from this book none of this is just like me and Jana brainstorming we would never okay. want to take <laughs> credit you know, no. credit for someone else's <laughs> no, he's um, incredible <laughs> like knowledge and and work so um, we were going to talk to you about. One thing that was huge for all of us that did this book club was changing your environment. So your habit, making it more attractive, making it more accessible, making it easy, uh, making the path of least resistance. So um, how to do that for exercise? Well, motivation for one, you cannot sit around and wait to feel motivated. Yeah. Motivation comes from feeling confident about what you're to, about to do which is kind of a catch 22 because you are motivated to do something that you're like, I'm good at this, I'm excited for it, and it's gonna be great. But you can only get those feelings if you do something consistently enough to feel confident. So you can't, the motivation can't come before the action. That's just not how it works. Um, a lot of times new habits start to form because you just have to force yourself to start. Um, and there are some ways to take the friction off. So to make, you know, the path of least resistance, less friction towards that healthy habit. And one of them that stuck out to all of us was change your environment. For example, if you're like, okay, I want to work out five days a week, which is something that I would think that Jana and I feel very strongly about that is necessary. Um, now, 
Jana, one of my favorite things she always says is any movement is movement in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So if you're working out zero days a week and you work out one day a week for a month, that's moving in the right direction. But the end, at the end of the day, you know, working out one day a week, it's going to take a really long time to get the reward of getting the intrinsic dopamine and the good feeling and the stress relief um, because the vote to not work out is more, um, there are more of them. <laughs> no, there are, there are more of them. It's the majority. That's what I was trying to think of is the majority. So we're big believers on, you know, five days a week, six days a week, um, take one rest day, a stretch day or whatever, but you want to, um, you know, give yourself that time for your, for your health and happiness more often than not. So say you want to work out and you're struggling with motivation and, um, you know, you're making excuses, which is really what it is, is I don't have time. I don't have this or that. It's just that you don't want to do it enough that you are not making it a priority. So you change your environment. Here is one really great way to do it. This is something that I've implemented and Although I don't get a choice of whether or not I work out, thank God, <laughs> and because it's my job. Um, it did help me when I made this change to make it less of a task. So on Sundays, I pick out my workout outfits for the entire week and I put them next to my dresser, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. That way, whenever it's time to work out, it's not like a 15 minute preparation. I grab it, I get dressed, I do it. If you're a morning workout person, um, I would suggest putting your workout clothes, shoes and socks included if you have to leave the house for it. Um, if you don't, shoes and socks included if it's a workout that, that needs the shoes. Next to your alarm clock, next to your phone. That way when you go to turn your phone or your alarm clock off or hit the snooze, you see that there, that's a trigger. It's going to be a cue for you. I set my alarm so I would work out. When I work out, I feel better. I know that I'm tired and I don't want to get up right now, but seeing that is a good reminder for me that once I start, I'm going to be so glad I did. So set up your environment to be um, supportive of your goals, of the habits that you want to create. So it's kind of like making a system that uh, makes it fail proof, the path of least resistance, you know. Even put it in your phone as a reminder of like, in your calendar or if you write it down in a calendar write it down saying at this time make it at an appointment where it's then just there and also whenever you put it in the appointment if you say it out loud for some people me this is what i have to do anytime i put anything in my calendar i say it out loud i'm doing this on this day because there's something about the connection you're you're saying it out loud you're proclaiming that this is going to happen so that it gets a little bit more into you as okay monday 6 a.m i'm working out so then it's already right there make it make it part of your actual schedule and then another um another thing that is very helpful is so a habit is formed because there's a cue and that cue creates a craving and then the craving leads to an action and then the action typically would lead to a reward um so you say you have your cue of your clothes being set out and then your craving should that's triggered by seeing those clothes should be i know working out makes me feel better it makes me happier it makes me less stressed i want to feel that way so that is the craving and so that says okay i want those things that gets me excited that helps me get out of bed that makes me feel like a little bit more motivated than maybe i would if they that cue wasn't there so you get dressed you do the workout, so there's the action, and then the reward is what you are craving. So um, in some cases, if there is a big undertaking, then like I wanna work out three days a week, maybe that's what you're starting with. Then um, someone in our book club really thrives off of rewards and seeing the reward and knowing that if I do this, I'm going to get this, I'm going to reward myself with this. Not food, okay? Food is for nourishing your body. It is not for telling yourself you did a good job, okay? So she, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna tell her story because I think it's awesome. She's one of my friends, I don't think she would mind. 
So her name's Chelsea. She wanted this purse really bad. It was like a designer handbag and um, that is not like my type of thing and it's totally hers. And so she's like, Jamie, look at this purse. I want it. Should I buy it? And I, I was like, no. <laughs> um, but then I said to her, she goes, but I really like think that if I, part of our challenge for 22 days was no drinking. And she said, I think that if I, you know, go 22 days without drinking, then, you know, this will be my reward. But she was going to, she was going to purchase it before that. And I said, what if you held on to that idea and bought it for yourself when you finished the 22 days? So that helped keep her motivated to not drink in the moments that she wanted to. And there were some that we've, you know, her and I have, have talked about. And she wanted to feel proud of herself when she carried her purse and, and to know that she earned that. So that helped her on the days when maybe she didn't feel so motivated or think, you know, the intrinsic reward is great. She feels better. She is proud of herself. There's less guilt, less wasted time, all of those things. But really, when all of that doesn't feel like enough, that purse was there. And she's like, I know that if I do this and I go ahead and buy the purse for myself, I'm gonna feel like I didn't earn it and I won't be as proud. So sometimes we need to create a reward for ourselves that gives us something to look forward to. Um, a lot of the girls here, they reward themselves with new workout clothes, which is such an amazing thing to reward yourself with. And I think women do not do that nearly often enough. Uh, we have a lot of girls that work out here five, six days a week. And they're washing, you know, three pairs of workout pants because they don't want to spend money on themselves. And it just, you have one life and you're beautiful and you're worth it. And you're working your buns off quite literally, or maybe working your buns on. Maybe that's like, you know, the trends have changed. Do you want the bun to be on there? I don't know. I, I don't know what, what's the popular thing these days, but um, it's not a bad thing to reward yourself and be proud of yourself. Actually, being proud of yourself is, to me, the most important intrinsic reward. To be able to look in the mirror and go, damn girl, I am so proud of you. And I always think about, if I do this, will I be proud of myself? If I don't do this, will I feel some type of way about myself? I don't like to say feel guilty or whatever, but you know the difference in the feeling that I'm talking about, like keeping your word to yourself, being consistent, consistently keeping your promises that you make to yourself makes you feel confident and um, you have better self-esteem and you feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror, you're proud of who you are. And that is something that, gosh, I just think that's the most amazing reward there is. Don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in the very yeah. beginning, we discussed three things, and we're just going to touch base on them real quick. It was water, sleep, vegetables, and then, of course, exercise. We already discussed the exercise. So um, how did you guys do with the water? How did you guys do with the sleep? How did you guys do with the vegetables? For some people, vegetables are really hard. For some people, it's not. We encourage you, even if it's try one new vegetable a week or even if it's whatever it needs to be for you spices we were talking before we started the live how much spices make a world of a difference it's just all about nourishing your body and giving giving your body the fuel that it needs to feel good and to move forward towards that boat of the right part the person that you want to be same thing with the water and the and the sleep um if you need to Think about the sleep rituals that you can do to kind of help increase your sleep. If it's put your phone in a different room, if it's um, get an alarm clock instead of using your phone, if it's putting it away so you can kind of relax, read a book before, if you need to meditate before bed, whatever you need to do to make it be the best sleep potential <laughs> that you can have. Sleep hygiene, I think is, yes. the, the, that's the term that's really good is sleep hygiene. And, um, and you have to be committed to it. You have to really want the, the you have to crave the, the reward of feeling good and, and with the vegetables, the water and the sleep mm -hmm. and being proud of yourself. And don't, like for me, water's really hard. So this January, my goal was to not drink. Um, I haven't had a drink since December 27th. I feel 
amazing. I'm not saying that that's something that is going to last forever. Um, I, my whole family grew up like in an, a, alcohol industry selling beverages i know her husband works in the the same industry he still does right mm -hmm. okay and um it's just kind of something that i do enjoy so i'm not saying i'm not going to but that was my focus so i actually didn't worry too much about the water this month but now that like i've proven to myself and i'm proud of myself for doing that now i was actually thinking yesterday i'm gonna move on to that that uh, additional goal of the water so you don't have to take everything at once and be like I have to do all these things I have to work out eat vegetables sleep better and all the water just take it like little baby steps um one percent in the right and in a, in a better direction in a positive direction one percent and you know I love the 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 phrase the saying um practice who you want to be mm -hmm. that's all you're doing every day you're just practicing being the person that you want to be and if you practice you're going to get better and better you're going to make progress and that's all that really matters um they actually say in the book that we've been talking about that if you try to take one percent be better one percent by the end of the year you're 37 percent better i mean think of how much how huge that is when it's literally just one little thing like one tiny little thing it doesn't have to be like she said it doesn't have to be the whole mountain let's start with like one step in the right direction one percent better so um i did see on here and i i hope i hope that um she is still on here so i had someone ask how do i sign up for your online um and are these going online so some of you guys that are watching are online subscribers already and i just want to say thank you so freaking much for these comments talking about how look she said i've been an online subscriber for one and a half years and it's absolutely Yay. worth it Yay. the most fun content and online community is amazing and real um True and story it, it's, <laughs> it's we love what we do you're not going to find more passionate people than us um one of the things that i think is kind of sets our online community apart just a little um that and i'm a little biased obviously but we have women from 16 years old to 60 years old and i do think that that's kind of a little bit rare with um a well-rounded fitness um regimen we have instructors that are from early 20s to late 40s and i think that that is something that you just don't find with very many um fitness places but the way that you can sign up for our online subscription for any YouTube video is it's going to be in the um, description of this video. It's a link. You get 14 days for free. I'm going to put a discount code in the bottom of this video. So if you're seeing this, if you've made it this far, check on that. Um, it's 14 days of free content. What we do online is we have um, two I think a minimum of two live streams almost every day of the week. Sundays, there's only one. Um, but we have three dance workout live streams a week. We have one, no, two weight lifting workouts with Jana per week. Um, we have a yoga live stream each week. We have Ignition, which is our motivational um, classes. We have a class called Lifted that we live stream once a week that is um, a combination of dance and yoga and body body weight conditioning we have bar um hit classes i think i've hit almost everything which is really rare we're looking to add some um different formats possibly like trx we also do new release monday every two weeks which is a pre-recorded professional audio video that's not live streamed from here at the studio um, that you see a lot of those on youtube um, our online subscribers i will say this and i hope that i'm not speaking um, to them and it's wrong but our online subscribers really do freaking love the live streams they get to feel like they're right here in the studio with us they get to see the other addicts and connect with them we do challenges on there as a community um, it's really amazing and fantastic so the link is in every single one of our YouTube videos if you want to check that out make sure you also follow us on Instagram we have specials that we post there that you aren't gonna be able to see on YouTube um, and then another question she said she was six weeks postpartum how long should she wait before joining our workouts you wait until your doctor tells you girl um that's different for everybody so you know i when i 
had my two babies, I walked until the full 12 weeks um, or until I was released from my doctor. I did walk and I did do weights. I didn't do any cardio or anything like that, light weights, just because um, my JJ means a lot to me and I didn't want to do any damage to her or the organs and the things that are inside of here because um, it's really important to listen to your doctor. So if, um, I don't know where you're from, but if that's, I know that, you know, um, maternity is different in different areas. So if you don't have that kind of guidance, I would say um, 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And start slow. Be gentle to your body. Yeah. It, yeah. it just spent a long time growing a baby. So be gentle with it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I thought I saw another question on here. If you guys have any other questions, please let us know. Okay. So I did have someone say, please do a Bollywood dance workout. Um that has been requested many, many times. We do have one workout on YouTube that is somewhat Bollywood-ish. Um, one of the one or two of the songs. Look, I'm getting nervous. I'm doing this. <laughs> the thing about Bollywood workout is um, I actually put a Soka workout on YouTube, and um, it was not received very well because of the cultural appropriation um, aspect of it. Even though. We literally love every single culture. Mm -hmm. We we love everybody's differences. Like, love them. Not just, like, accept them. I, I don't even like that term, like, oh, yeah, we accept. No, we, like, love and respect and admire and appreciate. So I that's been something that's been requested. And I would love to do that with someone else that knows um, how to do that without offending anyone um and do it well so if anyone watching wants to travel to springfield and make a bollywood workout video with me um you know i'm totally open for that so um we okay how long are the classes i'm gonna move this i'm yeah. worried about the battery so yeah. we're gonna move we're gonna take you into our workout room um the classes that are online are the live streams are all about an hour. Some of our classes are 45 minutes, but for the most part, they are an hour. Um, the new release Monday classes that are uploaded every other Monday, it depends on the format, but we're about 45 to 60 minutes. I'm gonna keep this plugged in, you might have to, oh, I'm gonna flip, flip ya. Oh, just kidding, I'm not. Um, so we Here's have- Here's the room. Yeah. This is where everything's at. It's where all the, the all that action happens. Um, um, yeah, so you're gonna get all of that with our online subscription. Here, scooch in with me. Also, somebody asked if the videos are gonna be going away, and no, they are not. They will be on our YouTube. So the 22 days or the 21 workouts will still be there. They're gonna be there for as long as you want. Also, they will be. Yes, there's no ads. Yeah. No ads <laughs> online, none, no. And there's no copyright issues. Yeah. We can use whatever music we, we want, whenever we want. There are, um, I don't know if this is your thing. There, we have two dance instructors. One's classes are clean, mine are explicit. So, you know, you, you get to, I'm just like, just try the two week trial. I mean, yeah. you You'll can cancel. You can cancel anytime. You can cancel before you even make your first payment. So we are absolutely not even trying to like con you into like getting one payment out of you. That's not what we want. We want you to go on there, find what you love. And if you don't love it, then we want you to find something else that you love. Maybe it's not us and that's okay. But um, no ads. What was I saying before that? Oh, oh, the challenge videos are going to go on the online platform. We didn't put them on at first because we really wanted um, a lot of action on YouTube to try and um, get, get it out to new people um, and grow our YouTube channel. It's been a little bit, you know, difficult to figure out how to get our videos out to our YouTube subscribers without putting all of our content out because of, you know, we have people that are paying for the, the ad-free content. And also the other thing is um, on our online subscription, well, that's why we started the live streams. Let me just finish that last thought. That's why we started the live streams because you get like 11 or 12 full workouts every single week. And um, then the videos that are on YouTube are only 15 minutes compared to the full workouts that are posted on our online and just the value is really, 
really great and we're adding to it all the time mm -hmm. we're also going to begin certifying people to teach the formats that we, you'll see online um, in the spring we're going so if you want to be a part of that the online subscription like the our online subscribers are going to be the next generation of studio instructors to spread our message which obviously is um, self-care admiration self-respect health and happiness none of it has to do with abs or ass those are just a little bonus, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we wanted to talk about. As always, if you guys have any questions or anything, we you'll notice that we are, and I pride myself on this, we are one of the only YouTube channels that you're gonna see where you look at the comments and almost every single one has been read and responded to. Um, I always said I wasn't sure how long that we could keep that going or how long that could last, but um, I am at the point where I'm, I literally like have other people at, and myself and my husband like messaging and reading the comments because I don't want anyone to feel like their voice is not being heard in this um, realm. So yeah, Go and try the, the two week thing. That really wasn't like the whole entire intention of this video, but if you really do love what you see on YouTube, your mind will be blown by what you see on our online subscription service. After your two weeks, it's $24.99 a month, but I am putting a discount code down here that's gonna give you a discount for three months, so your first three months. So I know, $24.99 a month. The girls that come to the studio here, they actually pay $110 a month just to be in the environment and the atmosphere. So it's really a steal and a bargain. And um, you're going to get the live streams and all of our pre recorded classes. Yes, I think that this is a little bit delayed. Yes, there will be a discount. Your discount code is a promo code. Um, when you click the link in the description, which won't be in there right away, I'm gonna have to, to put that in after our live video is over. When you click the link in the description, it will automatically apply the discount code for you. Um, and, you know, 14 days for free. And if you cancel within that 14 days, you don't even pay your first month. So um, our online community is growing so fast and we love all of you. We love our YouTube subscribers and our online community. We know not everybody can, can afford that and so that's why we want to put free content out as often as possible we just get hit with copyrights all the freaking time and um you know those ads are kind of annoying too so anyway keep your habits going stay healthy stay happy and if we're you need anything let us so know. proud of you yeah. we are so proud of you if you push play one time and if you push play 22 times we are so incredibly proud of you Good work. We hope Very that good work. today was one of the days that you, you know, joined us because I feel like day 22, this is maybe the most important of all the days because it's easy to press play um, one or two times, but what's hard is to, af you know, continue to do that after you're not hearing Jana and myself and seeing the other girls in those workout videos, you know, pushing you and smiling at you and giving you the, the high fives and the thumbs up and everything, um, which is what you're you're gonna get every single day with you know, the online subscription. So one person did ask me, and I wanna address this right at the end, when we're gonna start putting um, videos back on YouTube that are similar to what we were doing before. I have some plans for that, but I will tell you, we're gonna take a little bit of a breather. <sighs> 21 videos is a lot to film and upload and edit and um, I had to work really hard to make sure that we didn't get hit with copyrights. It's been a lot of work. So I'm just gonna take a week for myself and it's February, which is really super exciting at the studio. We have like hot seat stuff and some like sexy jam and some all the love songs and all those things coming up and those will be on our live streams. As for YouTube, it'll probably be, um, Usually we upload on Tuesday. There won't be anything uploaded tomorrow, but probably like a single song workout maybe next week. And then the week after that, maybe a little bit of a 15 or 30 minute workout for you. So um, we love you and we're so excited that you joined us on this journey. So proud of you and we'll see you soon.